So I can believe their place is like in at Central Station. Terrace? Indeed, I'm afraid we have no choice but to define them as such. Unfortunately, we have no clue as to their aim, nor do we have the names of the group's members, its size, or its history. At present, it doesn't even seem that the terrorist group has established a name for itself. But that's a lot of unknowns. Would I be correct in assuming the man we met in the Northern Highlands was trying to start a war as a member? Ah. Uh. Yeah, Mr. Uh, G. So he's one of them. He said his name was Gideon or G or something like that. So that's what the man you encountered in the Highlands was up to. He does seem like the terrorist type. And you think he and his group are going to try something tomorrow on the first day of the Summer Festival? We're currently operating under the assumption, yes. The Summer Festival lasts three days, but unlike festivals in other provinces, only the first day garners much attention. It's been a month since the incident in Nord. If they intend to make their next move soon, tomorrow is a likely time. I'd have to agree. Terrorists do love their time in the spotlight, after all. And considering how easily Gideon gave you his name, I'm betting we'll start to see them acting more openly soon. First, you gather arms and other, like, minded allies in secret. Then you reveal yourself with a bang and keep going in quick succession. That's the typical terrorist MO. Let's see. And you want us to assist with countermeasures against them? Right, the RMP will be joining forces with the Heimdall Military Police, the HMP, to bolster the capital security. Unfortunately, as big as the capital is, I can't say with a complete confidence that there'll be no holes in our security. That's where you come in. You'll be assisting our security measures as a reserve force. Bah, that'd be sh that should be nice if the guild was still active here. They would have come in mighty handy right about now. Yes, I don't disagree. Um, Sarah, do you know about the RMP? Had, yeah, the RMP had no involvement in the guild's withdrawal from the capital, right? Oh, really? I mean, your boss and that brother of yours could hardly make their opposition to the guild more obvious if they tried. But, well, wow, these two really seem to have a messy history between them. Sure looks that way, especially where the guild is concerned. Although it sounds like your brother had been keep, has been keeping busy in Crossbow recently. So what's it going to be? Whether you choose this as your field study task for tomorrow is totally up to you. If you decline, there are plenty of tasks the governor needs taken care of, like you've been doing the last two days. The summer festival is a busy time after all, lots of little details that need to be squared away. Da will help out. I think, I think I speak for Group A when I say we'd be glad to join in with the anti-terrorist countermeasures. Group B feels the same. Alright then, thank you for your assistance everyone. Now let's move right along to confirming the patrol routes you'll be following. Patrol routes? Are you serious? Please tell me it's going to summarize all that up pretty quick. Same day, geez, 11 o'clock. Oh, so we went back with Sarah then. Wow, this place sure brings back memories. Up until now, until about a year and a half ago, I'd swing by here at least once a week. Really? I wouldn't be surprised if I'd seen you around here before then. Well, I did end up getting to know your sister. Fiona, right? Works as a piano teacher? Seriously? Wait, she did say she knew someone who worked at the guild. Guess she was talking about the instructor? Still, instructor, what is it that caused the guild to withdraw from the capital? I've been wondering that for a while myself. The guild used to be pretty active here in Erebonia, right? Well, yeah. The regret cause was guild branches all over the country being blown up, but I'm sure you already knew, know that. The culprits were Jaeger Corps, hired by a nasty bunch the guild was, odds, was at odds with at the time. Well, still is, but anyway. Thanks to a dependable ally, we were able to defeat the Jaegers, but by then, the Imperial government had its eye on us. They started making life difficult for us, took away most of the guild's authority in the country, leaving our hands tied. Eventually, the branches were started here started closing, one by one, with no real prospect of ever reopening. So that's how it was. Hmm, instructor? Don't worry, your dad might be the city's governor, but he wasn't really involved. A certain friend of his, however, was very involved. You're talking about Chancellor Gilead Osborne, representative of the Imperial government, I assume. Yep, him and his cronies in the Imperial Intelligence Division. It's kind of like Sister 
a sister organization to the Railway Military Police. Anyway, after that, I was out of a, I was out of a job. That's when Principal Van Dyke came and offered me a position at the academy. I started as a combat instructor last spring, and after that, I wound up being chosen as your class homeroom teacher. I still help help out the guild from time to time, though that's how I ended up bringing in our Yeager princess here. <laughs> Knock it off, <laughs> Jaeger princess. So that's what happened. You mentioned that a Jaeger Corps was responsible for the attacks. What was its name? Uh, it wasn't the same group Fee used to run with. They were called Jester, not a particularly high-ranking outfit. I see. Worried about me? Well, I did suspect that it was likely a different corps. <sighs> From the sound of it, the Jaeger Corps Fee belonged to was a pretty large one, though. Oh, definitely, she was with with Zephyr. Their leader was the insignious guy known as the Jaeger King. You name a combat, especially the Jaeger had it covered. Or Zephyr had it covered. They were the only core in par with the Red Constellation, which was has its roots in the Berserkers of the Middle Ages. They caused me plenty of trouble back when I was still a full-time bracer. Look who's talking. You caused us plenty of trouble yourself. It's hard to believe this all happened to people we actually know. Yeah, it sounds more like a story out of some novel. Anyway, the terrorists you've been hearing about lately aren't part of any Jaeger Corps. I figured that was the case. Generally, Jaegers are interested in just two things, money and fighting. Th that Gideon guy you encountered in the North Highlands doesn't seem to fit that description, though. If I had to guess, I'd say he's acting on some kind of deep-seated grudge. A grudge, huh? Well, well, it's hard to say anything for sure. Never met him myself. Well, I understand. He did seem particularly tenacious. He was definitely that, which means we're really going to have to step it up for our patrol tomorrow. Your involvement is just a precautionary step, but if you're going to help, give it your best, I say. Seems like your teamwork is smoother than ever, too, so all the better. Anyway, it's late, so get your report written and get some sleep. I'm going to crash in one of the empty rooms upstairs. Of course. Ah. Uh, And there she goes. Not a care in the world. Oh, the instructor never changed, does she? You sure? She seemed more talkative than usual. Feels like she was pushing herself. Now that you mention it, she did seem far more forthcoming with information than usual. Maybe she's feeling a bit weird being back in her old workplace. You might be right. Still, I guess we're not really in any position to be worrying about her. We'll just have to do our best to coordinate with Group B tomorrow to make sure everything goes smoothly. Agreed. Alright, the sooner we get that report written, the sooner we get some sleep. Yeah. We got this, boys. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. Hey, A7, we did it, boys. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Windmill, okay. Nice. Well, we're in the, we're, we're in the A's. These 430s are the best we can get. I don't know if we'll get to 430. Keep up the good work. One in the morning, jeez. That looks like Gideon. Then you have the other dude in the black. I keep forgetting his name though. It was like F or something or H, something like that. He was G. Let's learn the alphabet. <laughs> the time is finally at hand. At last. The hammer of judgment shall rouse this indolent capital from its slumber. Yeah! Okay. Whoa. Comrade G, all of the necessary preparations are complete. But it feels like you have so few men accompanying you. Wouldn't it be wise to call in a few others for backup? <laughs> There's nothing to fear. As long as I have this flute, not even the railway military police stand a chance of stopping us. Tomorrow, the people of this land will at last know our name. My dear comrades, I shall be counting on you all. I recognize a couple of the people as rather like stop, shop clerks, or other people I've seen before. Especially those two guys in the yeah! back. This doesn't look good. And even that guy on the right. 
Unless they just they reach the same skins. This isn't good though. That black knight dude. I assume we're gonna get to fight him at some point. Maybe he'll be the final boss of the game. I wouldn't be surprised. Monday. Field study day three. Day of the summer festival. Wow, the decorations are in full swing. Alright boys, let's get up. Alright, going back to check on Group B before heading over to the Railway Military Compact. The RMP's command post. Just give me a call on your Arcus if you find anything during your patrols. Okay. Will do, Instructor. Leave it to us. Still, I was expecting Captain Claire to be our point of contact. Yeah, I wasn't expecting you to agree to cooperate with the RMP. I'm not exactly delighted about working with them, but things are looking pretty serious. I'm helping them this once and acting as your point of contact, but I won't let them forget for a minute that they owe me. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Tell Fiona thanks for the breakfast. Sure thing. And gone. Alright, we should get moving too. We got our designated area, so we'll be patrolling them one by one. Keep keeping an eye out for anything suspicious. Instructor Sarah said she contacts contact us around noon too. Let's be off then. Yeah. Guessing the city is going to be packed with people since it's the first day at the summer festival. That's all the more reason we need to stay especially vigilant. Okay. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and just do another quick tactical save. Oh, there's something up here. Hey, kid, what's up? Mm. What's wrong, Milton? Oh, hi, Elliot. There's a pretty interesting rumor floating around at the moment about someone just vanishing all of a sudden. Did you say vanishing? Do you know any more details? Oh, cut your interest, I see. I don't know. This is some good, this is some good stuff. Might even just be too juicy to share. Speak up, or we'll force it out of you. Right, okay, I get it. Dang, you two are scary. So yeah, like I said, someone from one of the apartments around here just straight up vanished. The caretaker came to check on them this morning and found the room as empty as if no one ever lived there. The only thing left in there was a key to the room. That's quite the curious situation. Yeah, especially since they disappear without even telling anyone. Never heard of anyone leaving town during the summer festival either. Maybe they had a reason they had to move out so quickly. Do you think this might be related to the terrace in some way? Hmm, sounds like kind of a stretch. Oh, there you guys seem like you've got some good material. What's this about Terran risks? Come on, fill me in. Don't worry, it's nothing important. There does seem to be some substance behind this room, though. Great, I think we do well to keep the story in mind. Let's all the rest investigate on Alta Street. We should keep moving to that part of the city. Let's go to Vanquir. Oh yeah, two. Boost. Boost! Alright, we'll go to Pleasant Bifrost first. Ah, oh, second floor. Looks like it's the cafe we ate at that one time. Is that Crow? C -cr crow? Woohoo! Haha, <laughs> I'm on a roll! I can almost taste that grand prize. Crow? Hey guys! Surprise, surprise! How's that field study coming along? Oh, it's going fine. But why are you here? Oh, you don't know? Classes don't run back at the academy during the summer festival. So I came here to squeeze as much fun as possible out of this fortuitous bit of free time. Meaning? The summer races, of course. Wait, you came all the way here to bet money on horse racing? We're minors! We're not allowed to place bets! <laughs> Do I look like a lawbreaker to you? There's a magazine that's running a prize contest for the summer races. You send in your predictions, and if you're spot on, you win a really fancy prize. So you came all the way to the capital just to check on that? If only we all had such boundless energy. All right, time for some serious praying to the goddess. Well, that's Crow for you. I'll leave the money here, okay? Thank you very much come back anytime anyway I'm heading over to the cathedral over in the song district peace uh thanks come on goddess let me win that prize that seems a rather 
pedestrian thing to pray for. Seriously. So irresponsible. <laughs> that's cruel for you. Hey, that's exactly what I said. Looks like there's still places here we haven't explored. Let's go look somewhere else. So that gave me literally nothing besides just a little bit of banter with Crow. So kind of funny though. All right, and there was a person up here. Hmm. What's wrong? Um, did you notice something? I thought I sensed someone suspicious. You think it was one of the terrorists? Hmm, we can typically depend on Fee's instincts at times like these. Might have been my imagination. Lots of people excited for the festival could have been one of them. Either way, that's something we should not note in our report. Like Laura said, your instincts tend to be accurate. Yeah, agreed. I saw the rest to investigate in Vancouver Street. Time to move on to the other areas of the city. Basically, we can't just cross the road. Fine. Garnier District. Oh, we got the hotel. Alright. Oh my, aren't you the military academy student from the other day? Hmm? Oh, it's her again. Oh my. Oh yeah, Vita. So we meet again. Did you come all the way here just to see me? Uh, Miss Clotilda. Or Clotilde. I, I didn't think we'd get another chance to meet you. Um, hello again. Actually, we're here just part of our field study again. We're actually doing a patrol of the city. Oh, isn't that a shame? But I'm glad to see you're all working so hard. I see the two of you were able to make peace, too. I'm surprised. How could you notice such a small change when you only met us two days ago? Oh, was I right? <laughs> I just had a feeling that might be the case. Call it a woman's intuition. Anyway, have you noticed any significant changes here since we last talked? Well, thanks to all you taking care of that beast, I've been able to truly relax during my stay. I slept wonderfully these past couple nights, but now that you mention it, I did notice a suspicious looking group of people near the hotel last night. You did? There were two of them talking in the back alley near here, hats pulled tightly over their heads. When they noticed me trying to sneak a peek, they panicked and vanished into the night. I did overhear them talking about a plan of some kind, though. A plan? That sounds rather suspicious. Although we don't know enough to say for certain. Yeah, it does sound like something we should keep in mind. Thank you for your help. I'm happy to have been a service. Still, I'd love to stay here and talk a while, but I'm afraid my schedule is a little booked up at the moment. You busy doing something for the festival? Yes, I was invited by the member of the Imperial family to sing at a banquet being held at the palace tonight. I was actually my way to rehearse for it. I see. I wish I could go and watch, but I doubt there's any chance of that. Obviously. Well, good luck. We wish you all the best. We wish you the best. Same to you. Anyway, goodbye for now. I like Miss Clotilde. She's nice. Huh, that's a pro for you. Even when you wish her luck, you're the one who ends up feeling encouraged. Indeed, she never ceases to surprise. That's all. There is to investigate in the Garnier District. Time to move on to one of the other areas. That was literally nothing. We Okay, Oss District. This place, there could be a lot of stuff going down. Underground waterway? Okay. That's a little fishy. Here's the entrance to the underground waterway. What should say something like this doing in a residential area? Especially with all the monsters in it. That's just time to all. We'll find entrances to underground areas from time to time, but it's not much case for concern. Everyone's smart enough to know that you shouldn't go near them. That puts me at ease. Nonetheless, everything seems to be in order here. Huh? What's wrong, Fee? Did you know something? Nothing. Chances are nobody's in there right now. Nice to know. Problem is, the footprints we left when we came out of here yesterday are gone. What does that mean? It's likely that someone went in there yesterday after we all came out. And they've raised any evidence that would suggest they had, raising our footprints in the process. Sound about right? Are you certain you're in not overanalyzing this? Not completely. It does hurt to keep in the back of our minds at the very least. That's all there is to investigate here. That was... okay. Dragon's Plaza. Maybe I should save this one for last. I'm gonna say I'm gonna save the Dracos for last. It's gonna matter first. I was just right here. This area appears to be appropriately well guarded. The soldiers patrolling the park appear to be f from the HML, HMP. I'm all military police. Looks like the Imperial Guard from Fall Flame Palace is in charge of security for the Crystal Garden itself, though. 
I imagine security is going to be airtight considering the garden's party going to be held there. Yeah, especially with Princess Alpha in attendance. The level of security is probably standard when it comes to members of the Imperial family. Hmm, I thought I smelled something familiar. Arrogant voice. Oh, pa hey Patrick. Hey, isn't that... Oh, Patrick, you're here too. But, uh, but of course, I did receive a personal invitation to the garden party after all. I so see you're all tied up with your field studies, or whatever you call them, on such a fine day. Your poor souls. Girl, he really does get under my skin. Got, I've got used to it already. Hm. Are you alone today? I was under the impression that your butler, Celest Celestin, always attended you, but I don't see him today. Hm, it's true, he often is at my side, but I spend plenty of time on my own as well. Don't take me for one of those useless nobles who can hardly lace his boot without his butler's help. I got the impression his butler was more to keep an eye on him. Did you say something? Me? Of course not. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to get in your way. I'm sure you have... Y they have you running all kind of menial errands. Meanwhile, I intend to introduce myself to Princess Alfin. Try not to be too jealous. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, of course, Patrick. Later. Can't say I'm all that jealous considering all the time he's we spent with her yesterday. She invited Reen to be her dance partner. You know, after seeing that, I can't even bring myself to be irritated by him anymore. Well, the security in this area seems perfect, so it should be rel relatively safe from the terrace. Yeah, I think it's time to move into another area. Are you sure it's perfect? Something bothering you? I feel like we're forgetting something. Now you mention it. Oh yeah, maybe it's come. Maybe it'll come back to us later. We didn't forget anything. It the underground passageway, derp. Oh, come on, bro. It's, 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 got, it's the other underground passageway. And the port. Oh, okay, we might find some big stuff here. Oh, we got two there? Maybe this is where... Because actually, this is where everything went down. What audio's name are we supposed to do now? You're telling me. Young folks these days can't count on any of them. Is there some kind of problem here? Oh, here are those students from yesterday. As a matter of fact, we do have a bit of a problem on our hands right now. What kind of problem? Well, it's nothing you need to worry about, but last night a bunch of our younger workers up and quit, just like that. Most of them hadn't been here more than half a year. They just started really getting used to the work, too. Now, uh, thanks to that, our schedule's been thrown all out of whack. Hmm, that is a significant problem. Is there anything we might be able to lend a hand with? Nah, that's all. That one's all on us. We should be able to fix our own problems, after all. If they're gonna quit, they could have at least stuck around long enough to tr train their replacements. I bet they all got caught up in the festival hoopla and just decided to cut out of work altogether. Is it too much to ask for a few hands who appreciate a good day's work? Something about this sounds kind of fishy. I get that people would be all excited about the summer festival, but enough to quit their jobs? The timing does seem suspicious. Well, from what we saw in that cutscene, it we know what happened. Yeah, let's keep this in the back of our minds for now. That's all there is to investigate here. Time to move on to one to the other areas. Right, that was it. Well, we got one more district. That's the Freckles Plaza. This is the last one. Sure are more people out than there were yesterday. Oh. They must have all come to see the Imperial He's bad. Oh, wait. Here puts all of them. Okay, I could have sworn we'd seen him before. I don't see if I recognize any of these people walking around. Seen him before. This is tourists. Yeah, are these people? No. But I definitely recognized that one guy. I definitely recognized him making his rounds. Where's the best spot to take pictures from? He's definitely one of them. Palace sure looks festive today. The Imperial Family's parade starts here, doesn't it? It's pretty nuts. Yeah, they've got special security arrangements for the event. I've heard that the limousines they'll be using have high quality shielding to stop bullets and explosives too. I guess you can't be too careful with the members of the Imperial family. I've heard so much about the skill of those in the Imperial Guard too. Seeing them in person it almost appears those stories were all true. They should be able to handle any crisis they, that may manifold here. Yeah I think we can rest easy. Anyway we've patrolled each of the areas assigned to us at least. It's almost noon now. Must let us wait for instructors here to contact us. Go through. Turn back now. Okay, fine. Okay.
Oh. There's Sarah. This is class 7, group A, range 4 just speaking. Hey, it's Sarah, give me an update. Understood. Uh, she sounds more, way more serious than usual. Alright, our results. I see, something sounds off, alright. Though judging by Fee's reaction, it doesn't sound like the terrorists are wandering the streets. We haven't seen anything that would lead us to believe so. I think there's something happening behind the scenes, though we just can't be sure of what it is. Keep sharpening that instinct of yours, it'll provide, it'll prove invaluable to you. It's almost time for the Imperial Family's limousine to head out from Valflame Palace to their respective events. Crown Prince, Prince Cedric will be going to the Heimdall Cathedral in the northwest. Prince Alfin is headed to the Matter Park in the northeast. Prince Oliver, we're going to Heimdall Racetrack in the southwest. Prince Oliver's going to be extremely, got an extremely capable bodyguard with him, though, so I'm not worried about him. My task would be with looking after the Crown Prince, so I'll like you to keep an eye on Princess Alfin. Make sure that she gets to the Garden Prince safely. After that, you can resume her patrol. Understood. We'll head to Matter Park at once. What was that instructor? New marching orders, huh? You guessed it. The limousine carrying Prince Alphan is about to leave Valflame Palace. The mission is to make sure she gets to the garden safely. Right. We should get to Minor Park as soon as possible, then we can follow the main street. Alright, as soon as we're ready, let's head to the Minor Park. Well, we're ready, so... Ah, oh, so we actually have to take the train? Minor Park. Probably have to bring out our patrol right away once we reach Mount Park. Can we have story about everything else before we go? Yes, we have. Oh, I hit not now. Actually, is there a store I can go to exchange all this mirror I have? Well, actually, we can just go into the plaza. We're someplace where I can buy stuff. Sure, we'll go to the Western House and get shop, exchange. No. Nope. Shop, exchange. Oh, my word. 18. Thousand mirror. We're at 29k. All right. Oh. Okay. Well, we, we made we made bank. We have 27,000 mirror. Tactical save. Matter part. Probably be, uh, yeah, okay, okay, I know. Uh, I keep hitting not now. Let's go. Speed this up. Then up. There come the limousines. Soon. Crown Prince is in the middle. Prince itself will be in the red one, maybe? Or so. Let's we'll see where they all go. Oh wow, she's actually she's actually Lisa's actually with him with her. <laughs> it's quite nice to be out and about like this once in a while. Though it would have been even nice if you'd gotten dolled up. Just think, we could look so adorable making our debut together at the garden party, wouldn't we? <sighs> I wish you would you'd think a little more before you say something like that. We may be friends, but I'm still just a baron's daughter. I can't even can't very well go around equating my appearance at the party with that of the Imperial Princess. Debut or otherwise. Oh, you're so old fashioned at least. Both the national and local governments are headed by commoners by now. Times have changed, or is it that you're still annoyed that I asked your brother to the dance? <laughs> Maybe I really sh should invite him to be my dance partner next year. Your Highness, please, that's enough. She at least is so annoyed. Oh, come, come. Sorry, Elise. Seems there's still a ray of hope for you. After all, it doesn't look like he has a girlfriend at the moment. Still surrounded by that manly... Ma many... Oh, pff. Still surrounded by that many lovely ladies, I doubt that'll remain true for long. I, I don't... I suppose you're right. If we were to find someone, perhaps that would be for the best. Both for him and for me. Wait, is this some, like, unrequited love that Elise likes Rain... Like, 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 Rain? I'm sorry, just thinking out loud. But don't mind me, the people are all waiting for you to wave to them. Okay. Because hers was, the, hers was the silver one. Speed. Ah, the Imperial Governor. Plus, the Governor was was there of all places. So 
XP. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is inside. Okay, I still don't see our squad, though. Because it's gotta be... The so, at least it's here. Two. Looks like she came as Princess Alphine's attendant. Ah, those two must be pretty tight. The princess really looks the part, though. Indeed, that dress of Imperial Crimson suits her wonderfully. Dang, I'm starting to feel jealous of Patrick after all. Alright, looks like this area is under control. Let's go grab something for lunch and do another sweep of the city. Okay, we're totally okay if nothing is ordinary happened today. Nah, it's not true at all. We know there's something's gonna go down.